Dwi'n poeni am fy nyfodol, rydw i'n cerdded yn dall trwy newid hinsawdd. How are we meant to be able to trust our politicians mm-hmm. and people with power locally when even you're saying that the system yeah. is basically about popularity, what can we do to keep ourselves in yeah. power? All we can do is ask the people who are in power mm-hmm. to act, but they're not acting, they're ignoring us. I think I've realised today that the disconnect between young people and politics is bigger than I thought it was just makes you feel frustrated and powerless. Yeah. yeah. Right, <clears throat> this is what we're on about, climate change. Single, single biggest issue facing the world. Extreme weather and loss of biodiversity. Floods, high temperatures, droughts, water. Food insecurity. What is it? Uh, dis- some disruption. What you, what you do see and what you do know, do you feel like there's enough urgent action on climate change? Oh, I don't no. know. You don't recognise what's going on no. now. Oh, no. I'm just not sure what's being done to make sure that everyone is educated mm-hmm. on what they can do and what is actually happening. It feels like we are just powerless. I think that's the most frustrating thing. Mm-hmm. When you want to see change and you're looking for change and you're asking what change is like sort of being put forward in our local communities and nothing's being done mm-hmm. or we're not aware of it. I think that's what's frustrating. A lot of governments don't prioritise what needs to be prioritised and a lot of money is funnelled into things that don't have anything to do with climate change, don't have anything to do with actually helping the economy of the people that live in that economy because a lot of people cannot survive in this economy and a lot of people aren't surviving in this economy. You know, these are real concerns, especially as on, on, on a, in a coastal environment of which we live in. Uh, it, there, there is a difficulty because these things cost money. So it is, and we don't have a bottomless um, pool of funds that can do everything ideally. So real world decisions need to be made at the cabinet, le- at the cabinet and council level on what is the best path to go down. The governments, when they think they're going to lose, if they hear loud and clear this is the priority, they will make it their priority. That is what we did in the Welsh Government. We absolutely have made it a priority. Um, we're doing as much as we possibly can within the budget constraints that we currently have. The Climate Change Minister, Deputy Minister, changes to the curriculum. Um, we want to have zero, uh, you know, net zero Wales by 2050. There's lots of good stuff happening. I don't want you to feel like you're not being listened to. You are. But the power now is in, honestly, a very crucial election coming up. Um, And I would say plug into that and engage with that and ask for what you want, ask for the solutions. Mm -hmm. If my constituents are concerned about climate change, I'm concerned about climate change. It's projecting your views onto your politicians and, and hoping that they pick up that mantle and take it and delivering it to power because they're the people who represent you politically. You're the people who put them in that position. But we're saying that we're gathered here today as a collective of young people Mm -hmm. and we're trying to say to you that we're really, really concerned about climate change. And we can't really afford to wait for the next three years for the next... Well, no, 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 but but you do have... When that does come, how can we be promised that things will change? Yeah, we'll change. It's not just, oh, wait for the next one and then we'll make make some change. If we're not saying what you want to hear, you can quite easily ignore it, really. And I think that's an issue. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely right. I mean, the movement is here, you know, the ideas are here, yet the reaction seems to be delayed completely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Fair enough. I don't yeah. really understand what more we could be doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. BC, you know, like the local authority is moving as fast as they can. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, and, and they work under the constraints of the decisions made at UK government and Welsh government on how they want to achieve this. Fundamentally, everything comes down to money. It's how better to resource these things. You know, another thing I will say is that at the moment, you know, we have proposals to have onshore um, wind farms. Uh, people are really not fans of, of, uh, of these. Um, if we did, though, 
um, with the ones that are currently proposed, there's about there'd be about ten of them then um, in Wales. Uh, within about twelve years, we could become completely switched over to renewable energy in Wales. You know, but again, the pushback is absolutely enormous and people will say what about offshore but if we could use offshore it would be the preference and it's and it's not you know so again these are the these are the decisions they're not for me to make these are the decisions for for people you know for society to make like what are we what what are we going to do here because none of it's easy as we said although it was sort of an enlightening conversation. We did say there's still a long way to go. Yeah, um, more needs to be done. So yeah. it's pushing, it's it's pushing the negative, I guess, pushes the positive mm. in mm. in a yeah. in a way, yeah. <laughs> in a way, yeah. because pushing the negative pushes them to get rid of it mm. and do more to make yeah. more positive and make more change. Yeah. I just think, yeah, when. We're trying to raise our voices and being met with, you know, oh, here's the reasons why we can't, or here's, that's all we're asking for is a genuine response while, rather than feeling like we're just being ignored because we can't. The world is currently way off target in its efforts to prevent dangerous global warming. That is the conclusion of the first official progress report on reaching the Paris Climate Goals. The world needs a rapid transformation in the way we work, eat, travel and consume. The climate crisis is worsening dramatic, but the collective response is lacking in ambition, credibility and urgency. It's time to wake up and step up. If you, if you look at what needs to happen in order to stay within the Paris 1.5 degrees, you're looking at radical societal transformation. So what we actually need as society is something that is politically unacceptable, which is to completely reframe um, how our society works, to completely reframe what it is that we do and how our financial systems work, how our social systems work. We're saying there's a climate emergency, there's a nature emergency, and there's also a pollution emergency that we need to combat and change. We feed that information to, pos uh, to politicians, and they're the ones ultimately who say yay or nay to certain mm -hmm. things. And I think that's, I guess, the point of local democracy and things like that, to say, well, actually, who, who do you want making those decisions for you? And I think that's a really important thing that you need to consider. There will be... Um, tens of thousands of young people in Bridgend County Borough and um, if even a relatively small proportion of those became active and contacted regularly elected representatives demanding action um, then that could potentially um, start to resonate with decision makers. This thing is about sleepwalking into yeah. climate change. I think as a society we sleepwalk into who we vote for. But as you say now, we need action now. We need, so now you need to look at people who are gonna stand up for now. And there's some things that this Welsh government doing that are not popular, but are actually really important. Yeah. And you need people willing to stand up for a silent majority as well. I think it's, that's really important. We cannot make change alone. So we have to work with our communities but we also have to work with other public sector partners and what we have in Wales are organisations uh, called public service boards uh, and that's a place where all the local agencies, the key agencies, so that's the council, the health board, South Wales Police, South Wales Fire and Rescue, Natural Resources Wales, the Welsh Government and the third sector come together to try and tackle common challenges and problems. And one of the obvious, most important challenges and problems is climate change. The Public Service Boards are a requirement of the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act. They're there to try and tie up the visions and the wellbeing objectives of all the different organisations, so, mm -hmm. and to keep each other accountable in, in, in the actions that we're doing. A lot of public services, they are reactive, 
they work in the now, they have statutory responsibilities for now. The idea of Public Service Board is that they're looking, making decisions for future generations. Mm -hmm. So not my children, but their children. And we're looking into the future and saying, are decisions that we're making now going to impact on future generations that way? I mean, there's a, probably a way to go for them to be really effective, mm -hmm. but um, it stops in times of austerity, in the times of, you know, it's really difficult times for public services stops people shrinking in and just focusing on themselves. We need to maybe work together to still solve these problems of community cohesion and, and elements mm -hmm. that we're really struggling with. I think it's worrying that people don't know the good that's happening. I think that often isn't communicated either. Like, the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act is amazing and it's such a great act that we have in Wales. But I think people, especially in Porth Call that I've spoken to, don't even know that it exists. And same with public service boards. like. They're all things that are great, but they seem to be quite silent within people, mm -hmm. like in communities, that I think that's also scary, that we don't seem to be talking about things enough locally um, and community, like in the community. I do think there's an overall sense that community want to create action on climate change. There doesn't seem to be any partnerships or continuity that make this happen. And I know the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act is about bringing communities and involving um, communities together to create change and create action. So I think that's an area that could really improve and be a real solution, is trying to build a synergy between these public bodies and the community that want to create change. Um, and if we could spark that, I think there really would be a greater sense of urgency on climate change, but also more solutions happening.